Oh my god, you came back. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to our vegan kitchen. So, this isn't a very healthy recipe. Let me just preface by saying this, but it looks delicious. And uh, one of my favorite vegan YouTube channels, Vegan Bodega Cat on YouTube, found this recipe on TikTok. And I just saw what? this. I know. Who knew that there were recipes on TikTok of all places? I got to get my ass back on TikTok because I didn't see any recipes when I was on there. So I'm going to have to fall into the TikTok rabbit hole this weekend. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. Well, it is my birthday weekend, so let's have something unhealthy to celebrate. <laughs> it looks so good. And you know what? I love peaches. But the thing is... The recipe that was on TikTok was regular. The recipe that Vegan Bodega Cat did was vegan. I'm taking it one step further and making it vegan and gluten-free. Ooh. Right? Who's going to pick it up after me and do it like, you know, <laughs> something else, something, something. So it's a really simple recipe. It has one, two, three, four, five ingredients. That's it. That is it. So let me first start by turning the oven on to the uh, weird number of 360. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Right? All right, that, let that heat up while we prepare our pan over here. So I am also doing half the TikTok recipe, which is the full recipe that Rebecca at Vegan Bodega Cat did. So that requires two cans of um, peaches in light syrup. I noticed on the TikTok recipe, the guy used light syrup, but she used heavy syrup. I wonder how much of a difference that made. I wonder if she even realized it. Because sometimes those TikTok things go so quickly, you don't even realize what they're saying sometimes. You gotta go back and listen to it a few times. But uh, you start off in a pan. I'm mm -hmm. using a... Is this a 9 by 13? I think it's a little bit smaller. I think it's actually a little bit smaller. You're asking the wrong person. You use everything. You don't throw anything out here. So all of the syrup goes in there as well. Mm. Right? I love canned fruit. I love canned peaches. They're so good. Yeah. And pears. Yeah. I love pretty much any canned fruit. If yeah. you put some canned fruit in front of me, I'll eat it. Yeah, pears are really good too. The thing is, you don't have to use peaches to do this. You could use any fruit. I'm also supposing the flatter the pan, the better to have like the smallest, you know, I mean the um, shallowest layer possible because it's all got to like suck it up. Mm -hmm. And if it's too thick, the stuff at the top is not going to get wet enough. So we got that. Then they said, and they didn't specify how much in either video. They just said some. Nutmeg and cinnamon. So, um, too much nutmeg is sickening, so I'm just going to put that much. <laughs> Not in the Jeffree Star <laughs> good way. No. <laughs> sickening the house. Yes. And then we have some uh, very nice cinnamon here. I believe from Ceylon. This is Mark's uh, prize winning cinnamon that he did a lot of research on and found. So you can go a little heavier on the cinnamon. It's just the, the nutmeg. Sometimes it's just like, oh, this tastes like soap. Ugh. Yeah. So you give it a good stir. Slop it up. <laughs> Honestly, it's just a dump. <laughs> so mm. you can slop it up. It's not a big deal. All right. And then you use a cake mix. And I believe the original TikTok video used a... Uh, what's the one with the B? Betty Crocker. And then uh, Rebecca used a Duncan Hines. And I am using an Aldi Live G Free Special. So you just take the cake mix. There you go. Give her your mix. And you dump the whole thing on top. Wow. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, do you smell it? Um uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Mmm. 
Oh, yeah, I smell that. Yeah. <laughs> I am here for this. Sign me up. This is crazy. I know. You just spread it out like that. It probably would have been better if I used, like, an even bigger flatter pan. But we're going to go with this one. All right. Now, here, here's <laughs> the P.S. de resistance. We're continuing with the unhealthy theme. We're oh, using God. a whole stick of water. <gasps> oh, no! I didn't know you were using the whole thing. Oh my god. Again, they don't specify, but she used four ounces of butter for the two cans, and this is four ounces. Ugh. So, you, um, it's like a pie, you know, you dot the butter on there. That much, though? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Girl, what do you think's in real baked goods? Mm -hmm. Not like we eat. Yeah. If you don't want to go half-assed, you want to go whole-assed. This looks beautiful, by the way. Mm. You know it's going to be good. I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> it's a lot of butter. I'm only, I'm just a little bit worried about, like, the gluten-free aspect of this, but I mm -hmm. think it's probably going to be okay. hope you're right. Oh, I can't wait. See, it's not that much butter, is it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's what it should look like in all of its glory. As soon as that beeps, we're gonna pop it in there for 50 minutes. That's what they said on the TikTok video. Her cake actually took 65 minutes. I'll report back to you and let you know exactly how long the gluten-free one took. There's always so much activity when we are ready to take it all the time. <laughs> Between the drinking <laughs> and the talking and the um, television, there's always some. There's always a party going on here. Mm -hmm. But when this came out of the oven, I actually let it go for 65 minutes because it. I noticed it was bubbling in one corner, and I was like, "Well, if I let it stay in there a little bit longer, maybe it will bubble everywhere." Mm -hmm. It didn't bubble everywhere, but it bubbled more. So what I did was I took a back of the spoon and like pushed the liquid around so that wherever it was dry, it would like soak it up. Yeah. So it's been out of the oven probably about 15 minutes now sitting. Um, I think that's a good idea because it's pretty much volcanic lava right now. So you can it see. Oh, really wow. Good. Look at that. Ooh, we have a cake. Kind of. Yeah. Let's uh, serve it up here. Make it pretty as hell. <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah, it does. I'll give you that. All right, are you going to taste this? We can both taste it. Okay. <laughs> can you eat and film? Uh, sure. All right. <laughs> I want to get some of the peach, too, but I yeah. don't want to burn my face off. I'm going to have to blow, blow, blow. Maybe my husband would like to try this. If he could tear himself out of the chair. It's a cold night. I'm, I'm scared. What are your thoughts? Mm. Is it really hot or can I do it? I think you could do it if you do it cautiously. Mm. It doesn't really taste gluten free. No. So it's nice. I'm going to go in for a second. It's not fully like a cake. No, it's... Um, it's almost like... A crumble without the crumbly stuff it's a on top. Cake. Yeah, cause like the cake part is like ooey gooey. Mm. It's really good, but it's not like a cake. I'm I'm not good at filming one handed. <laughs> I'm realizing this now. Both videos <laughs> suggested vanilla ice cream. Mmm. Yeah. I would have to yeah. say yes. This is kind of like a peach Melba kind of. That's really good. Mm. Give it a try, TikTok. It's not just <laughs> girls going like this. Or people on Broadway going like this. Or Shout out to Beetlejuice. <laughs> or Laura Dern going yeah, like this. Or Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. So there's recipes on there too. Join me as I fall in the TikTok hole this uh, this weekend. <laughs> so I hope you give it a try. Subscribe for more. We're going to be doing it for every day in uh, January for Veganuary is Fork. And then once a week after that. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any fun videos. Because this was fun as hell. Thank you. You're awesome. And until next time, much love.